Yeah, from Barnsley Metrodome, where Adrian Lewis takes on Robert Owen, the recent UK Open semi-finalist against a former UK Open champion, Adrian Lewis, who, well, it's a curious tale in 2018, isn't it, for Adrian Lewis? He's a name that is followed by darts fans all around the world, but he's suffered a rather rapid decline in the last year or so, and having been... Knocked out of the World Championship by Kevin Munch, the German qualifier in round one. Lewis dropped out of the world's top 16 for the first time in a decade. And then this year has been a rather strange one for him so far. The first UK Open qualifier he reached the semi-finals, but they couldn't play in the next two because of his well-publicised altercation with Jose Justicia. Returned to Wigan and made the quarters of the fourth one before losing in round one of the fifth. Outside. And then when he got to Minehead, he was beaten in his first match 10-5 by Dirk van Dijvenborde. It's also outside. Qualified for the first two European tours, but didn't manage to qualify for any of the ones that he competed on Friday night here in Barnsley. And he was knocked 29. out in round one yesterday. Twenty-five. Beaten by Stephen Burton. But today, Adrian has managed to see off James Richardson in round one. And will take on a, a man who must be brim, brimming with confidence, Robert Owen. That's bullseye. An honour day when many of the top seeds have been tumbling. Peter Wright was beaten in 29. his first match. Adrian's won the ball. The number one seed Adrian and the highest it. ranked player in the tournament. Well, the second highest ranked player in the tournament has just been beaten. Rob Cross seen off 6-4 by Adam Hunt. 90. A man who already has a win against Gary Anderson under his belt this year. He's added the world champion to his hit list for 2018. 140. Even though Rob Cross missed three darts at double 12 to force a deciding leg in that one. 85. You see a contrast in execution of the arrows between this pair. Robert Owen nicknamed Stack Attack because they lay down, enabling him to 61. produce the Phil Taylor understacker. Well, although it's much more exaggerated than the powers ever was. And Adrian Lewis has dart stand to attention. 80. When he gets one high in the 81. treble 20, it's perfect for him. Owen looking for a low dart in the treble 20 bed. And he's managed to knock that one further down to create 100. more space in the bed, but the third dart was way off the mark 99 well, Lewis under pressure already here on a big out and Owen, Owen on a two darter but Adrian Lewis has got to stay there so, sorry. 75 gone. Just clattered off the dart that was in the treble 20 bed and found its way into the five, so... 88. Took aim at treble 13, but Owen now with a chance. No danger of him blocking double top. The way his darts lay in the bed. And he's gone for two double tops, and that's a good guide for him. 61. But he just couldn't get over it. 81. So Lewis lands tops to take the first leg. And the first step on his route to what would be a board final, the third round. That's the last 32 stage of the tournament. 81. We will have a match from that round and a match from each of the remaining rounds. A choice of boards, as always, here on the PDC TV live, live stream, powered by Loop Productions. Our next 80. match on stream one may well be a rematch against Terry Jenkins, who he reversed a 5-1 deficit against. On to take the £10,000 first prize. Jenkins needs to get past Cristo Reyes first. 81. And actually, Terry Jenkins is 4-2 down in that one. 140.
And then Adrian Lewis looking for a fanfare finish. Low darts been no good really for Adrian. Well, Owen would have loved to be on a finish where he could have stayed on the treble 20 then. 93. And that's superb from Jack Potts with Robert Owen waiting on a double. Lewis lands the 108, gets a break of throw and with it takes control of this match. Robert Owen's best moment came just last weekend didn't it in mine head what a run from him that was only his second ever tv tournament in the pdc he qualified for the players championship finals last year but a run to the semi-finals that included victories 100. against michael burgoyne jamie lewis who he beat 10-2 also saw off nathan rafferty the man who conquered peter wright in minehead as snakebite surrendered his crown to gary anderson owen also saw off ian white 10-7 and John Part in the quarterfinals before losing out to Corey Cadby. 100. In the last four. Also worth a shout out to Dave Pallet as well for his success in the UK Open finals. 140. But one of the high-flying Welsh contingent at the moment. Stack attack. Well, great setup shot from Adrian Lewis. Finding three trebles to leave himself on 24 after 12. 60. And Adrian Lewis halfway to round three now, having won the first three legs. In round three, John Henderson is already there. He's seen off Wayne Jones, 6-2. Michael Smith has beaten Ryan Harrington, 6-4. And Ricky Evans has enjoyed a 6-2 win against Richard North. So all three of those players through to the last 32, their board finals. 60. Adrian Lewis, of course, if he does manage to win three more legs, will take on Robbie Green, who we just saw beat Kyle Anderson. I know that Adrian Lewis is working hard to work his way back up the rankings and, well, become once again a contender for the major titles. He's already won the World Championship twice, of course. The UK Open, the European Championship. 65. And four World Cup of Darts crowned with Phil Taylor. 140. Unlikely to be in the team this year. Rob Cross, currently the highest ranked English player. 24. Looking to captain Team England this year. We wait for the uh, team announcements in the next couple of months. Sixty. Okay, a chance for a a fine finish here. Another one of those. That's balls out I'm not sure he's sure it's in, but it is Roberts, and it might have just. Knocked his throw a little bit there. Well, this could knock him out. One, four, six. Oh, yes, Adrian Lewis. One hundred and thirty. That would have been an absolute steal. But finally, Owen's getting going. One hundred and forty. Further progress for Geoffrey de Graaf, who reached his first PDC semi-final yesterday. He's through to the third round, having seen off Kirk Shepherd six-two, and the Goldfinger Andrew Gilding. 
Beaten Mickey Mansell 6 4. The same scoreline which has seen Jamie Caven progress. He's beaten Ryan Meikle by a couple of legs. 125. That match between Terry Jenkins and Christo Reyes now four apiece. Remember the winner of that taking on Gary Anderson here on stream one next. 100. One hundred. And there had only been one previous meeting between this pair. That was in February last year. Adrian Lewis won six nil against Robert Owen then. So the Welshman has already achieved 81. a superior result this time around, even if he doesn't win another leg. One hundred. It's been decent stuff from Adrian Lewis so far. Four three-figure visits in this leg, get him down to 36 after a dozen darts. 45. 45. Well, he's found the wrong bed there, so moving west. Eight. And now a chance once again for the second consecutive leg for one of those champagne shots. One hundred and ten. And for the second time he misses the bullseye as part of the combination. Effectively missed it twice in that visit, but Adrian Lewis has missed two at double fourteen 29. and one at double seven, opening the door for Robert Owen to sneak a break of throw. One hundred and ten. Game shot. And that's the break. Effectively cancelled out by Robert Owen, throwing to level this up and make Adrian Lewis's 3-0 lead disappear. And you could just see Adrian Lewis wince a little in the background there because he knew he should have had that leg won. 60. I can tell you that Geoffrey Disvan, a, a finalist in one of the UK Open qualifiers, he's through to round three having beaten John Part 6-2. Gabriel Clemens has won by the same scoreline against Kevin Painter. And Nathan Aspinall has knocked out Robert Thornton in a last leg decider. 100. And also a last leg decider going on in that match between Christo Reyes and Terry Jenkins right now. The winner of that to face Gary Anderson in our next Six. match here, so I will uh, inform you which way that one swings. Reyes with a big advantage in that final leg because Jenkins has 57. hit scores of 41 and 27 in it. Bit of bad timing from the ball. 60. Well, Adrian Lewis, he scored 30 with the first two darts, so just 50. a straight dart at the 20s would get him down to a finish, but he was in command of this leg against the darts, and once again he's found a way to give Robert Owen an opportunity. 100. And Lewis is not going to take out the 154, so Robert Owen with a... 21. An easier finish and Adrian Lewis had just made it 10 times easier by not getting himself down to much better than he was already on. But he's missed the big 11 there, he was going for the treble and he's denied himself a shot at the bullseye. So Lewis wants 1-3-3 three, three to rescue the situation but as I said he was really in command of this leg and stack attack's going to return with three darts in hand for double top to level up. 93. He'd probably be grateful that he's getting a clear dart at double 10 now because that was a, a difficult target to Game get shot. past. And Owen does level up at three apiece and sprints back from the hockey. I'm not sure what all that's about. 140. And I can confirm that Christo Reyes won that last leg decider against Terry Jenkins, so he will take on Gary Anderson. 
100. That'll be the next match here on stream one. On stream two right now, Michael Smith against 84. Ryan Harrington. Then Zoran Lurchbacker against Keegan Brown. Choice of streaming action as always. 100. Make sure you get involved in the conversation. Hashtag PC4. 60. And Lewis here has let slip a, a 3 0 lead if you're just joining us. 139. But he looks like he's back in the groove and likely to edge back ahead. 100. He beat James Richardson earlier on to get to this stage, Adrian Lewis. It was a 6-0 whitewash against 28. the man nicknamed Ruthless, and Robert Owen only lost one leg in his opener against Ross 12-2, so a rather closely, more closely fought battle here. Not going to get a dart for the 101, but once again, Adrian 69. Lewis, from the position he was in, should not be returning to the ball with 50 needed. 30. And he's only had two darts at double there, and... The last couple of legs, Adrian Lewis should have won comfortably and is allowing Robert Owen Game to sneak shot. in and make off. 3 0 up, Adrian Lewis, now 4 3 down, and I'm afraid it's a mess of his own making. 80 scored, yeah. 99. Robert Owen checking what score he was on there. I'm not sure he could find a way to leave a finish after three darts. 58. 58. We switched because the dart was hanging precariously in the treble 20. 58. But this has become a precarious situation for Adrian Lewis. Now can he awaken? 123. Well, even when he's throwing right, he's going wrong. The last start, landing in the treble one. Fifty-nine. Sixty. Well, again, just at the wrong time, a trebleless visit from Adrian Lewis leaves him on 120. He would be to break the throw, but Owen 108. throws in a very timely maximum, and this is becoming an absolutely crucial moment in this match. And look what's happened. I'm not sure which part of the ball it bounced out of there. May have well been the wire between the 5 and the 20. But in the end, Adrian Lewis didn't get a dart at double. And the 180 from Owen, he veiled him this opportunity with three darts in hand. The 4 was nowhere near, the 2 was closer. And the double 1 is in. And Adrian Lewis may be heading out. 60. Eighty-one. One hundred and thirty-seven. Legend Lewis won the first three legs of the match, and he's going to have to win the final three if he's going to get himself out of this pickle that he's found himself 64. in. One hundred and forty. 
I, don't, I have to say, it's not like Robert Owen is playing his best stuff here. He's averaging around 87. 49. Well, Lewis has got six starts from here to win this leg. And you can only focus on one at a time, but again, at the wrong time, 42. he's hitting the, the worst scores. Owen here with a couple of trebles can leave a finish. He's not going to on this occasion, so Lewis still with half a dozen 59. darts, this time from 1-2-2. Two, two. Just needs something to spark something in him. Sorry, sorry. 48 left. 16 or 8, probably 8 for Adrian Lewis, 90. well he's gone 16. Well, double top hasn't been working that well in this match, so it may well be a, a change of MO. 140. Fancy is firing at a different double, but Owen is perched on his shoulder once again. And I tell you what, this is tricky. Well, Adrian Lewis having to move a long way to the left. No score. And he couldn't find a clear route to the double. And you know what? That could be it. Because Robert Owen wants 108. He's got the treble. He's got the single, 76. just misses a double, Adrian Lewis let off. Well, it's a similar turn of events to the previous visit, but this time Adrian Lewis manages to land the double 16. And it's a first step, but this is the leg for Robert Owen, because if he wins it, it's all over. If he loses it, Lewis will throw for the match. Now, can Adrian Lewis finally find his timing? 140. We do have one player through to the last 16 already. Making rapid progress, if you understand. 48. The pun that I'm making, you'll have worked out that Ricky Evans is the man through to the last 16, having beaten Bradley Brooks 6-1. 180. As Adrian Lewis finally fires in a maximum. And his timing, as I said, in this match has been completely off. That time it was on. 100. Well, decent switch to leave himself 76, meaning that he'll guarantee himself a, a, dart, a double on the outer ring as long as he doesn't 100. miss any of the big targets. And he's got two. Game shot. And he has forced the last leg decider. So Adrian Lewis, having managed to throw away a three-leg lead and find himself 5-3 down, may well have just come good at the right time. Two big trebles in his first visit. Lewis started well. Can he finish well too? Robert Owen has been similar all the way through. Taking his chances when they've come. 100. So the aim for Lewis, the objective in this final leg, is not to give his opponent a chance. 140. And he's going the right way about it. 137 followed by 140. 60. Over 100 ahead already. But if he stays there and then doesn't at least find the 20. 58. I think it was a fair choice to, to switch across, given the position of Robert Owen here. He could leave a finish if he fills it up, but he's not going to do that. 55. Adrian's risk assessment, I think, was spot on. 58. If he wasn't planning on going for the bullseye in the next visit. However, here comes Robert Owen. His timing has been very, very good in this match. He's got himself down to a finish. This is a checkout that Adrian Lewis had already completed in this match. 92. And he leaves himself on the brink of victory. But could it be snatched away? Not in this visit. 
58. So Adrian Lewis won the first three legs, lost the next five. And won the last three to move into round three where he will take on Robbie Green. A bit of a laugh from Robert Owen in the end. Lewis came good in the end and he's through to the third round. We will be back with some third round action with yesterday's winner and the UK Open champion Gary Anderson coming up 